The word of the Lord for February 20 to 26, 2022 is Do this and be blessed. Do this and be blessed. The Lord said, if you do this particular thing, you will be blessed. Do this and be blessed. <laughs>
And he said, in tithes and offerings. A lot of people, they don't want to hear that. In tithes and offering. That mean you are robbing God's tithes and you are robbing God's offerings. And the Lord said, you are under a curse. Your whole nation, because you are robbing me. When you are robbing God, not only you are cursed, your nation is cursed, the town you live in is cursed. My God, my God, what a word, what a word. So you mean, God, when we don't pay our tithes and our offerings, we are under a curse? The answer of the Lord for you is yes. The answer of the Lord for you, when you do not pay your tithes and you do not pay your offering, you are under a curse, and not only you are under a curse, you cause your nation to be under a curse. You cause your town to be under a curse. Next thing, you live in somewhere and they don't have a job for you there. Or your, the job is closed there. Everything is curse. And curse is something strange suddenly you don't have enough money to pay your bill you don't have money to pay your uh, to pay your rent you know you don't you don't have food to eat uh, you don't have money to go and buy to the grocery store you got problems problems everywhere why the lord said because you are under a curse because you are robbing me and the answer is simple, and he said, you are robbing me in tithes and in offerings. The tithes belong to me, the offerings belong to me, but you put it on in your pocket, and you do whatever you want with it. And you cause your nation to be under a curse. And, this, and he was talking to the people of Israel at that time. He said, now Israel is cursed. Israel is cursed because you are robbing me in tithes and offerings. The Christians may say, you oh no, they're talking about the people of Israel, not me, not me. Yet, yes, I can tell you, if you say that you are a Christian, you are part of the commonwealth of Israel. Therefore, you are under a curse, you cause Israel to be under a curse my brothers, my sisters. But the Lord went further and said something extraordinary and we are going to continue the reading of Malachi 3. Now we are going to read verse 10. Bring me the whole tie into the storehouse. Bring the whole tie into the storehouse that there may be food in my house. My God, my God. God what your tie and your offering so there may be food in God's house. So, let's take a look at the house of the Lord. Is the house of the Lord has food? Is the house of the Lord has enough food for everybody? That there may be food. Is there food in the house of the Lord? Is the storehouse of the Lord has some food in there? And the Lord turning around and said, Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will not be room enough to store it. My God, my God, we got to stop right there and, and enter deeper. The Lord said, bring the tie to my storehouse and test me in this. Yeah, you are going to do an experiment, said the Lord. You are going to do an experiment. Keep the tie and see how you are doing. 
If it's not working for you, bring the tie. Keep the tie. Let's do an experiment. Let's spend 2022. You, you can spend 2022 by keeping the tie. Keep the tie. You don't have, this is a voluntary thing. You don't have to give it. Keep the tie. Keep the tie. You get paid, take care of your business with it. Keep the tie. And then let's meet once again next year at the same time. Right now, in the calendar of God, this is the ending of a calendar year. This is the time for you to reflect. Have I paid my tithe? Have I paid my tithe? Have I paid offering? Yeah, next year in Eda, we will meet again. And you will see. You keep the tithe, spend a year keeping the tithe, and spend 2023 by paying the tie. And some of you, you know in 2021, you keep the tie. So now, try something new. Pay the tie. Pay the offerings. Because God said, put me to the test. Put my word to the test. My God, my God. Will you put God's word to the test? Test me in this and see if I will not throw open the flood gates of heaven, there is another translation, and I will open for you the flood gates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will not be room enough for them. That more than enough, more than enough food. That means you fill my house with food, with provision, and I will fill your house with provision said the Lord. And he said, when you make your money, verse 11 is very important, I will prevent pests from devouring your crops. And the vine in your field will not drop their fruit before it's ripe, says the Lord. My God, my God. We are going to analyze that, my brothers, my sisters. You know, God said, you know what? So now when you get paid, I will make sure that you don't have bill stealing it from you. Those little pesting, pest bill, you know? <laughs> Eating your food. <laughs> and you said, boy, that little bill is a pest. It's a pest. <laughs> it's a bug. I have to honor that bill all the time. And when you're paying that bill, you have to take money, you know, that you should do this to do that. My God, my God. He said, you will not have those little pests eating your crap. When you get paid, it's like you, you're ripping your crap. But, you know, before you get paid, and you see this bill is there for, oh boy, that, that, that bill again, that bill again. God said, you will not have that. Amen and amen. Let's continue the reading. And, and he said, I will prevent pests from devouring your crop. You know, bill from devouring your crop. And then he said, then all nations will call you blessed, for your nation will be a delightful land. Remember, we were talking about the nation. Then your nation will call, then all nations will call your nation blessed, will call you blessed. Yes. People from all of the other nations will say, man, these people, oh, those Christians, they are blessed. It's time to stop the struggling of the Christian. A lot of Christians are, are living without. God said, if you do this, if you pay your tithe, if you pay your offering, I will bless you. The message is simple. Do this and be blessed. Do this and be blessed. 
You may choose not to do it. But guess what? But if you do it, you will bless you. I will bless you, said the Lord. Test me in this and I will bless you. My God, my God. This is your problem. You are under a curse, said the Lord. You are cursed, said the Lord. You may say, how can you say, I, I, you know, I'm a good Christian. I go to church. But you go to church. But you are not supporting the church. You are not helping the church. Yeah, because my house is desolate. My house, my storehouse doesn't have anything in it. When your brothers and sisters check the church, the church doesn't have anything, any food in the storehouse to help them. This is a disgrace. And God said, because of that, I put a curse on you. Yeah, it's not about being jealous and try and hit your brothers and sisters that are, that are doing the right thing, that pay their little tie. You know, they have, they, uh, you know the people that are getting blessed and you are envious of them. Let's analyze this again, my brother. The Lord said, I am unchangeable. I give my decree and you must obey them. But you stay away from them. You have not kept my decree. So return and I will return to you. Return to me and I will return to you. And God said, how? And you ask God, how are we to return? God said, yes, returning tithes and offering. You said, God, you said, I'm robbing you. How are we robbing you, God? And God said, you are robbing me in tithes and offerings. And then God turned around and said, you know what? Bring the tithe to my storehouse. So my storehouse have food. Now you cause the storehouse of God to have food. God will cause your house to have plenty of food. My God, my God. And the Lord said, this is a test, my brother. This is a test. And you have failed the test year after year because you take what belongs to God. They used to, they used to call tithes and offering sacred possession. You cannot keep it for yourself because this is the sacred possession portion of the Lord. Yes, in Deuteronomy 26, there is a special prayer and said, God, you see that I have not kept this, your sacred portion. Your sacred portion. Or, you know, you decide to keep the sacred portion of the Lord. Guess what, my brothers, my sisters? You will be cursed. You think you are increasing and you are decreasing, said the Lord. Look at the promise. You will always have food. You will always increase. And I will bless you. People around you will call you blessed. You will have more than enough. Then you have room to put the blessing of heaven. The flood gates will be open. The flood gates of heaven will be open for you. You know, people will call you blessed. People will rush to bless you. And with the word of the blessing of Abraham said, God said, I will bless you and make you a blessing. But you want that for yourself. But you, you, you want to depart from the decree of the Lord. You want to depart from the decree. Therefore, God said, you know, I hide my face. I cause you to suffer because you have not returned to me. My brothers, my sisters, I want you to analyze yourself. If you have been keeping the ties of God, analyze yourself. You have tried in 2021, keeping the tie. And I'm not talking about Lord Jesus' house of prayer. If you are going to a church, you cannot go to the church sit a, a, a week after week. And you see the benches are, are broken down. They don't have nothing in the pantry. 
They cannot help. They have to tell you, oh, uh, this boy cannot pay his bill. You know, you have to, you have to, uh, uh, we're going to give, give an offering for that brother. No. You should have been given already to the church when somebody present and said, hey, we are in trouble so the church can take care of this person without letting everybody knows about it. There is a decision for you to make today and a test for you to make this week. This subject is very important. When we are on the 21st of Ida, this week coming, you are going to cast out that spirit of greed out of your life so you can be a giver once again. On the 21st, this is a day to cast out false spirit. This is a false spirit that tells you, oh, keep it for yourself. Don't give to the church. You're going to have to cast out that false spirit and start giving again to the church. And you will see the difference. Amen and amen. Yes, 28, 21, you keep all your tie. And you see you are in trouble. Now, give the tie. Test me, said the Lord. Yes, admit it. And you can go to the Lord and pray. He said, am I cursed? I have not given the tie. Am I cursed? And the Holy Spirit will reveal that to you. And show you all the blessings you've been missing. Yeah, you know, God said, I will open the floodgates. You will have so much blessings that you will not have room enough for them. If you see you have room enough for more blessings, guess what? <laughs> you have not been blessed. Amen and amen. Will you obey God? Will you return to the Lord? You, will you stop robbing God? Will you be obedient and cause your nation not to be cursed, your town not to be cursed? 